Hey everyone. Well, I'm going to try this again. I, uh, Darren here for the Music Vault. How's everybody doing today? I'm not doing too bad. Uh, I have COVID, so I'm secluded. And I'm home, which is nice. Nice little break from work. Work is, can get a little monotonous, as we all know. So it's nice to um, stay home and kind of relax. I buggered up my knee, so I am get to rest it for a while. Anyways, enough about me. So, I got to thinking, and I was talking to my buddy Scott, and because he sent me a package the other day, and this was included, and we're always trying to, I always spit all ideas with him, and he gives me ideas, fresh ideas. I have the original, so he said, why not do a comparison? And I said, that's a great idea. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to do a comparison video, and this is what this is. And I'm going to compare this bad boy. So, this is the original. Eh, packaging is okay. It's, it's cool. Very 90s. This is the reworked, remastered um, version. Graphics are different. I like the graphics on this. I like the colors better. There's the CD. I really like that gold stamped or gold pressed CD. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's more of a glare on everything. Um, there's the original cover. And I think that's one of the things I like about this as well is that you've got your choice. You can use that cover. And if you don't like that cover, you can use the original cover. Personally, I like the new cover better. It's the colors are but the the colors are better. The pictures way better. Um, it's just more vibrant, more eye catching. Nevermore is kind of lame. It's just the way it is. Uh, the new way is the way Nevermore wrote the the name of their band was their font. Um, let's see, it was kind of kind of basic. Nothing really eye catching, but this. It, it's it's very much more eye catching than than uh, uh, the original picture of the band in there, whereas the old didn't it had wake up your rights are gone. They're very they're very much. Uh, I got that Warl kind of was a punk at heart. He's very anti-establishment, anti-religion, anti-government, um, um, very defiant. Lyrics are very dark, I find. Some In some cases, they're very bleak. He didn't seem like he had a lot of hope in life, but at least when he was writing his music anyways. So it adds to the ambiance of the band, right? Um, this, this release, okay, so it's put out by Brutal Planet, which is, um, uh, um, tied to Boone's Overstock. So go to boonsoverstock.com and you can pick all of these up. Now they have four Nevermore albums. They have three Coroner albums. They have a uh, Pound Hound. They have. Um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, King's X, uh, Flotsam and Jensum. They have them all on these gold stamped edition albums. You can buy them all in bundles. So, you know, if, if you're like me with shipping, uh, you can get them all in bundles and you pay a, a you know, I want to say they were, I can't, you know, I'm not even going to quote it because it's all on the website. If you go to boonsoverstock.com, you'll see them all. Decently priced, remastered. Um, shipping to Canada is going to be a little bit much. So the bundles would probably be 
probably be better for you. They all come, I don't think I said, they all come with a foiled, or a, a foil stamped collector card. For some reason, mine didn't come with it, which is cool. So, I will use a card that Scott sent me. That's kind of what they look like. And actually, I have another release that I'm going to be talking about, Sleeping Giant, and that came with a card as well. The Flotsam comes with cards. Uh, they have a, a band called Accuser. They all come with cards. Sorry if I'm I'm sucking on a holes here. All the Nevermore come with cards. All the Corner come with cards. Flotsam, Accuser, the Pound Hound, the, the, they all come with these collector's cards, which is, is a really cool. When I was a kid, I collected hockey cards. So, being a music buff, you can buy these, or you can buy these CDs, and you get this collector's card in there. And it's really cool, because being a collector now you're collecting all of these other things too and um you know when i used when i like i said when i was younger i used to collect hockey cards i don't anymore i switched to basketball and then i stopped collecting cards altogether just because there's no room for it and i just lost interest however <clears throat> these releases come with cards um so now getting to the the CD. Packaging on both is very different. The packaging on this one I like a lot better. The CD is rather boring compared to whoop, the gold stamped edition or the gold uh, the gold edition CD. Now if you haven't got an ear for sound quality I will show you I'm sure they won't mind me putting it on I'm gonna turn it up a little bit just because my stereo is right here so you get a little feel whoa a little too loud <clears throat> The, 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 the quality is remastered very clear. This beginning of this song is awesome. I love it. Okay, so that is the gold edition. I find it extremely clear, a lot louder. Now I'm not going to touch the volume, and we'll see what the difference. If there's a difference, this is the original. I didn't touch the volume. Already, I can notice that the, the production, the remastering, whatever they did on the other one, yeah, I can tell you right now, the, qual the sound quality on this is far superior. I can tell you right now, it's well worth the money then. Because, and not to say that the other one is bad, it's just, I find sitting here, I notice a very, I, I notice a difference that with the, with the clarity, with, but with the volume of this, it's just, 
it's just it just seems better better quality louder um, volume production level you can tell it's been remastered cleaned up a little bit it's just a little bit more clearer really technically over a video you're not going to be able to really maybe distinguish <clears throat> which one's better or which one's not however if you're kind of a geek that way and you end up buying this and you have the original do a comparison put the volume on a certain volume put one in and then put the other in i guarantee you this is a this is a superior um superior one it's just it just is I'm going to, I think I'm going to be buying some more of these. I have a couple of corner coming, the original pressings. And I think I'm going to buy the corner ones and maybe the flotsam ones. Because these are awesome. These are really nice um, sounding. Um, go to boonsoverstock.com and that's where you pick them all up. Um, now, I have dealt with boons in the past, like I've dealt with rocks, and I'm going to tell you, dealing with those guys, okay, let's put it this way. My wife ordered me some Rush for Christmas. Dealing with Backstage Pass, or whatever their stupid thing is called, they're horrible, horrible, horrible to deal with. Um, they don't get back to you. They... They're, they're, they take their time. They tell you that they're going to, my wife ordered me this rush stuff, paid the extra shipping to have it shipped before Christmas. She mailed it within the time frame. She bought it within the time frame. I think if you bought it before December 4th, they would guarantee you have it. I didn't get it for a month after Christmas. So dealing with them, they're horrible. And I, I don't think I'd ever deal with them again. <clears throat> I've dealt with. I think his name's Matt. I've dealt with Matt personally uh, with an issue that I had with the record. Uh, he was right on it. The guy is, and he's a super nice guy and he doesn't have a problem. If you have a problem with your stuff, he wants to make it right. Bill from Rocks is the exact same way. I, dealing with those guys, I'm telling you, dealing with those guys, you won't be disappointed. The product is top of the line. Uh, all these cool releases, you know, I would highly recommend them. Rocks Productions, Rocks Records, uh, Boone's Overstock, they they do the Brutal Planet. And they're partnered, it looks like they're partnered up with Century Media. So, like the secular label. So, dealing with them. So, anyways, if you're into Nevermore, I highly, get, I highly recommend that you get these um, um, releases because you won't be disappointed, especially if you're a collector. So anyways, original, remaster. Some people are fanatics and I only want originals. I have the original. Remaster is far superior, in my opinion. Packaging, uh, sound, with the collector card, everything, it's, it's just better. And and like I said, and the guys that you deal with, even Scott with No Life to Metal, uh, he's got he's affiliated with these guys. They're awesome guys to deal with, and you know you won't have a problem with them. However, or not however, but now I want to do a review. I love this band, and this is actually from Bombworks. Which I believe is hooked up with um, Boons and Rocks. Like, I think they're all in in cahoots. Um, I've never had this CD, so I can't compare it. Um, this is another one that Scott sent me. I don't know how he knew I love this band, but I absolutely love this band. Lyrically, the message is spot on with uh, the gospel. Uh, musically, they're as heavy as, as anything out there. They're more of a, I find they're more of a hardcore, kind of like the way Agnostic Front is, Madball is now. Um, 
there's the card that I was talking about. Um, and I got another one from Ultimatum Scott. He sends me all sorts of Ultimatum stuff because I love Ultimatum. Uh, and he signs it all, which is really cool. But this album is absolutely fantastic. Another Brutal Planet, Bombworks, Rocks, Boons Overstock, another one of those releases. Um, this one's remastered. It originally came out in 2014, but it's now a 2022 issue. Again, I don't have anything I can, I can compare this to. However, if this is the same with the Nevermore, this is probably a superior one as well because of the remastering. It's not a gold, but it is um, remastered and everything. So, like I said, I'm going to guess and say that this is probably the superior one because of the remaster, the, the clarity and the, the loud, like the, like you can tell it's a step up from like with the gold edition. I like, again, I don't, I can't compare this one, but I would recommend this one a hundred percent. And to be honest, I would recommend anything from Bombworks, Rocks Records, all those guys, because they're just, like I said, they're just top shelf. Um, so yeah, the packaging on this is really cool. It's it's um, it's like not a matte finish. I guess it is it a matte finish. It's like the cardboard finish, like the paper. It's not smooth. I think that's matte. I don't know what they would call this. Um, but it's kind of like that. Got that that paper feel to it, which is really cool. I really like the disc. It look itself. It looks really cool. Um. Uh, the packaging, like I said, is just top shelf. So anyways, yeah, that's my first review of anything. I don't think I've ever done a review before. I think maybe I did one once years ago. So I'm going to I'm gonna keep doing them. So anyways, comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of the gold discs. Tell me what you think of... You know, the packaging and that. Tell me if I'm off base. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if I'm off base. It's my opinion, right? I mean, that's kind of what a review is. So, anyways, you guys take care. And uh, I got lots of time on my hands, like I said. So, I'm going to probably throw up some more videos. Okay? Peace out, guys. See ya.